Hey guys, ASMG here. So in today's video, I do want to show off Flyzen in the guild quest, and the reason being is because all the rules apply to him very nicely. So we got the Solar Reaper Killer times two effect. He does have that. Technique attribute obviously is technique and strong attack. He is an SP frenzy character with recharge time, so he's an absolute monster. So let me show you my gear really quickly. So we got a Captain's Rope 20 SP, Spirit Call 30% SP, Tension Tide 30 attack, and Frenzy Roichi, Frenzy Renji, and Frenzy Byakuya. These are the links I usually run when I have a Frenzy unit in anything based on Inheritance Zone, Droplet Zone, and Guild Quest. I'm gonna put all our boosters. And let me tell you, this guy absolutely demolishes this guild quest. I can finish it in about a minute 40, a minute 50. Sometimes a minute 30, it really depends. But let me show you how he plays. He's an absolute monster. So this is obviously flying through the first room. It's really easy. Like level 20 mobs. But the good thing is, is that his boost is really, really nice as well. Since I have a CDR because of the links and his CDR, I basically have like infinite. The boost. And just one shot the boss. We're gonna need that soul bomb. Because he can basically destroy destroy a one room by himself. I right, got that boost ready as well. So what I like to do with flies is because he's got the boost it takes about 40 seconds. If all my moves are on recharge, I would use my special to clear the room. But right now, since it's very low level, I'll just use my normal attack. So unfortunately we did get hit, but the point of this video is not the amount of points to get, just how quick you can finish it because that also helps with points. See, since I have no cooldown, I'll just use my special. It doesn't really affect Aizen though. And clean. Look at that, I think, what's, what's this, room 3? And already, 1 minute only. So we're gonna get this. Oh wow, we got destroyed there. There you go, stage four. We still got two minutes. Like, that's how crazy this guy is. Boom, room cleared. And for the next room, we got all our strong attacks. There we go, now we got two as well. And boss room. So for this one, we will use the special on the boss. I should use a normal attack, but oh well. Look at that, room 5, 1 minute 30. Probably should use a special earlier, but I should be fine. Because it only takes like 2 soul bombs to destroy the last room, just straight away. That's how nuts this guy is. Now this is the best part. So we have like 1 minute 15 left and we spam the special. Done. That's with no friends as well, so no help whatsoever. I will do a second run. Hopefully we can optimize and we can also get some friends too. 1 minute 46, really nice. Definitely an S rank. Hopefully we get some decent rewards. And they're okay except for the coins. Alright, we're 401st. So we're going to do it again, for all my boosters, and this is the way I like to do my guild quest as well, if my main character I'm using isn't part of the bonus, it's sad, but regardless I'll put two characters from the bonus, even though I won't use them, it just gives me that extra points, I think it is 2000 points per special character, or the bonus character, I think it's 2000 points, but let's do it again. I've seen other people get much uh, quicker runs than me. Um, some people have used the full bring Ichigo. Some people have used Tensor. Grand Tensor is really good as well because he got the Soul Reaper Killer too. And I believe he also has CDR. But well, like I said, this is the first room, so it's really easy. I am planning to invest some potions into Flyzen as well. It's an absolute monster. Well, I think I might have to finish Yama first. But let me know what your builds are and what points you're getting. I know some people might be on top of others just because of luck. 
because of the if you join other people's rooms. Oh, I didn't even realize I killed Kaname. But if you definitely have this character, I, I highly recommend that you use him in the guild quest. Unless you want to use a different character for bringing a Tensor, as I mentioned previously. I think the others might be better in some cases because they don't have a boost. So their cooldown is a normal cooldown, unlike the boost in this case, which is 40 seconds normally. Because of our links, it's like 21, 22. But I feel like these are getting easier and easier. Or maybe it's just like due to the RNG of the rules and stuff. But I feel like this one's been the easiest so far. I believe we have three soul bombs too, so I should use one now. Alright, last room. Or last stage, sorry, I should say. So I will use my special here because we only need two soul bombs for, for this room here. What I should have done was use another soul bomb since there's one here as well. And there you go, one minute thirteen left on the clock. And let's see our rewards. I don't think I got any extra points. Let's see. And we had no friends either this time. Well, we got 2,000 extra points. A hey, five orbs. I'll definitely take that. And I think we should go back to 400. Fair enough. All right, guys. Enjoy this video. Like and subscribe for more Bleach Brave Souls content. And I'll be putting more videos about what builds I use for the Guild Quest, what characters, as well as the Droplet Zone and Inheritance Zone. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.